Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Pure Farming 2018. Where do you want to farm today? Last time we went down to Japan where I thought we were going to do a rice harvest because of that harvester there, but we ended up fertilizing cherries. Today, I want to go to Italy and start doing some stuff with the uh, grapes down there. So I will see you all very soon in Italy. If you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more of Columbia, USA, this game, farming simulator, anything else. And of course, hit that like button if you truly like this content. And if you want to see more of this content, that's just your way to vote on the channel to see more of it. So let me know, and I will see you all in Italy. Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome to Italy and my goodness this is really cool. Look at that. Wow, there's a pirate ship. Is that Johnny Depp? Is that you? That's a huge pirate ship. No, I'm just kidding. It's a teas tiny little little tiny one. Oh my goodness. This looks this looks so cool. This is really awesome. Alright, let's check our objectives for today on our tablet. Alright, my name is Chris, administrator of the farms. Oh, let's see, we're gonna do uh, nearby winery needs grapes. Okay, let's get started with that then. Logistics Center is where we are here today. I'll be playing with my Logitech G920, and just a fair warning, uh, the controls are not editable yet in the game, so I'll be having to uh, go forward with the uh, with the brake. I'll have to uh, <laughs> reverse with the clutch. It's gonna be a nightmare, but it's gonna be a good time here is a grape harvester. This thing is crazy, man. Look at that. It'll uh, store all the grapes up into these little individual hoppers on the side, and then we can unload those as well. Look at that thing. It's ba it's basically touching the ground. That's really cool. So if you haven't seen something like that, you're going to you're gonna learn today. And this Italian farm really looks cool. It's very uh, tropical, so we must be in the uh, very south of Italy on the Mediterranean. Very cool. Beautiful. Wow, little windmills over there. Okay, let's hop in our uh, piece of equipment then and get started and boom very nice let's take a look at the interior of this vehicle very nice good details here i don't think anything functions i believe it's all just uh, visual effects uh you know for example the uh, the controls and such and it doesn't look like our mirrors work either but hopefully that's something that works in the future of this game so without further ado let's get started let's drive to the vineyard so we'll start ro rolling out that way i'm gonna pop on cruise control probably drive it about maybe 20 kilometers just around around there somewhere 16 I guess wow that stop does that say stop jeez good thing I know some Italian luckily we're the only one in town so there's no stop in this train here we go wow and we're taking up both lanes anyway so I don't know if there's a way to turn on beacons but definitely we would do that at this time there is the Italian flag if there was any adult Italia Italia any Italians here I'm watching right now if you're Italian let me know let me know what uh, other farms you're excited to visit as well. I can't wait to go to Colombia too. I think that's going to be awesome. The big mountains and the uh, beautiful tropical landscape and such. Heck, every landscape here has been tropical so far. Wow, this is a dangerous road. Look at that. Are you kidding me? There's, ju <laughs> There's just ruins over there from the Romans. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Down the hill. So I don't know if there'll be regular uh, traffic in the game. I don't know if there'll be civilians or whatnot that walk around as well. But uh, it's definitely going to be really cool to uh, see the world that you're working in come to life. I think that's going to be really awesome. There's the vineyard over there to the right side. Oh man, that is huge. Okay. Very nice. I guess our speed limit here is 70. Anybody in a Ferrari right now is going to be furious at me. But don't worry, we're getting off the road now if there's anybody behind us. Alright, there we go. Now on to the uh, fields we go. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right. Let's come to a quick stop here and make sure we're all uh, straightened out before we get started. <clears throat> so, obviously, this thing has to go into the center of the vineyard. So we have to... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to back this up a little bit to come onto it straight. There we go. So each row is going to be harvested by the grape harvester like this and we're basically just going to pull up and turn it right on okay uh let's see rear device mode i think i don't know if we have to ac actually activate a front or rear device here but let's take a look at our controls so it says hello farmer harvest grapes in the vineyard stop the combine parallel to the rows press two and press f so uh two and f oh my god wow this thing's a transformer D hold on a second Hold on, we have to do that again. Did you just see what happened? 
That is amazing. This is drive mode. And this is harvest mode. That's awesome, man. That's really impressive to me. All right, let's let the harvester spool up. Wow, look at that. Okay. I guess we start driving. Let's go. There we go, back into the vehicle. And let's roll. I think we're going to have to go pretty slow to harvest. So let's see. Um, I'm not sure exactly how fast we should roll out here. I'm trying to push the accelerator. Don't you want to go? Let's back up. Maybe we're stuck. There we go. I guess we just had to get a running start at it. All right, let's keep her at about 7 here. It doesn't want to go much faster than that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the uh, little speedometer going crazy over there. Very nice. All right, let's take a look from uh, third person. You see the grapes going into the hoppers. Wow. I'm very impressed with this. This is very, very cool. Uh, you see our capacity over on the right side, the blue bar that's going up. So by the time we get to the end of the row, we're probably going to be completely full of grapes. And if you look on the mini-map, you can see all the white little dots. Um, that's obviously crop that's ready to harvest. And then, as you see, we're harvesting it, and it's going... It's kind of, it's kind of like Pac-Man. You know what I mean? It's just... It's eating all the little delicious grapes and putting it up into those hoppers there. Very cool. Beautiful rolling hills here in Italy. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to go to France, too. That would be awesome to do some uh, wine territory in France. I'm hoping for mods. I'm hoping for a lot of big things in this game. I'm very excited to see more of it. And, uh, gosh, this is just, this is just going to be a great game. I have, uh, I have no doubts about that. Wow, look at this. Oh, wow. The landscape is just so beautiful. There's the Italian flag there at the vineyard. Very nice. Coming up over some bumps here. There we go. And a vehicle storage area just up in front of us, too. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, looks like we have to sell the first shipment. Oh, looks like we're completely full. So the vehicle's automatically going into uh, drive mode. Let's get off this uh, vine here. There we go. All right, we'll circle around then and uh, go and sell our first shipment. It's going to be a tight turn here. I hope we don't hit any of those trees. There we go. I guess we'll have to go through this bush. There we go. All right, let's go sell some uh, sell some grapes at the winery, I suppose. Oh, look at the suspension work on this thing. Look at that. That's impressive. Look at that, man. <laughs> Look at that, man. <laughs> wow, it actually even uh, renders out a little bit of... Look at that. Hold on a second. Just just for just to know, I just want to see if it models an impact like that. Oh, no, it doesn't. Darn. Wow, I'm, I'm really impressed. I was so impressed with the suspension on this vehicle, we plowed into a wall. Now, that's a good game. The fact that I was more interested in the uh, independent suspension. Oh, man, that's just so cool. Okay, now, come on. You're being a little ridiculous there, Raptor. Hold on. I'm sorry, everybody. But, hey, you got to admit, though, independent suspension in a game like this is really cool to see. I haven't seen something like that since, like, spin tires, for example. That is awesome. Hey, a little comedy here today, too. Now, that's all good. You need to laugh every once in a while. All right, let's get rolling here. You pay attention to the suspension, I will pay attention to the road. But that is just really awesome. And this is just a cool, cool little piece of technology. Alright, we're going to roll up here. Onto the highway again. There we go. So I think we'll have to swing around this way. The end of the road looks like it's up there. Ah, oh, we sell it right behind here. Perfect. We'll just swing around this way. Very nice. Gorgeous landscapes. 
cool equipment, independent suspension. What's not to like so far? I'm very impressed with this game. All right, so we're going to sell the first shipment of grapes. We're going to harvest the second shipment. So same old, same old here for us. So let's back around. Let's go into first person to do this. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how big this vehicle is, so let's stop right about here. Take a look in third person. Okay, let's see what we need to do in order to dump this. Uh, unload by pressing F. Okay. So I think we have to switch to the rear. There we are. Wow, that's cool. Two little conveyor belts. Shove those grapes out up to the top. That's really neat. All right, back to the winery we go. Looks like we gained... Uh, wow, look at that. We gained almost 60,000 credits from that. That's incredible. That's big harvest, man. That's big money. All right, back this way we go to the vineyard. The trees are uh, beautiful. The birds are chirping. Man, I, I like this so much. There's something so relaxing about this. Again, if you're looking for an independent game, this definitely might be the one for you. Now, for the people in the comments section who've been wondering about uh, PS4 and Xbox, I'm sure people have asked how much it'll be and such. I would suggest Googling it first just to know uh, because I'm not sure myself. Why, did, why do the walls seem to be calling my name? I'm sorry. But yes, if, you, uh, if you're if you looking for this one for PS4 and Xbox, I'm not sure. You guys will have to answer that down below in the comments section. And uh, again, I don't know the price, but I'm really hoping that this comes for consoles. This definitely is a good game for anybody to play console on. Boy, even with the steering wheel, I can't even drive, huh? These roads are very narrow. This, this piece of equipment actually is bigger than it looks. It looks so small and tiny, but it's actually huge. It takes up a whole roadway. I'm underestimating it. Well, wow, that's a picturesque screenshot right there. A little piece of equipment under the Italian flag. That's gorgeous. So it wants us to harvest a second thing of grapes. I'm going to start at this end. I think we can start anywhere we want. I don't think it's uh, too picky. It's just kind of in the middle of the field. So let's circle around and see if we can get this thing started. Okay, we should be good here. Let's put her into Optimus Prime mode. Uh, let's see here. I think we have to do this. Yes. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, seems like we have to hit the, uh, the vineyard in a very particular way. There we go. Looks like we can go a little faster than 8 miles an hour. Or kilometers, my bad. That is awesome, man. So each one of these rows is $60,000. 60,000 60, credits. That's pretty awesome. That's big money, man. And a, a piece of equipment like this that probably costs several million. Uh, this thing is just really cool. The Gregory G9. I'm sure this is a, a variant of a of a New Holland, or uh, I'm not I'm not sure. And again, for realistic tractor brands and equipment, again, I'm not sure about that either. So I guess that's something that remains to be seen. Meant to go inside here. There we go. So again, if this was multiplayer, you could be doing this with a group of friends. We're about to exit uh, harvest mode now. We're almost completely full, and. Uh, There we go. I think we're full now. Yep, you can hear the uh, machine automatically exit harvest mode. Pretty good. All right, and look at I didn't have to drive on the road with the wall anymore. <laughs> oh, man, that's good times. All right, now we're going to sell the second shipment. We'll head right over to the winery to do that. Very nice. All right, let's get going. Pick up the speed, head onto the road. We know where we're going. We'll just come over on this left side then because we know we have to be on the left side. Very nice. I'm very impressed with this game. It's very relaxing. I love the independent suspension. That's something I just found out about. I like the 
uh, the ability to do some of the things that seem to be mods in Farming Simulator. One of the things in Farming Sim is, I will admit, I get bored pretty easily of the huge, massive farms. I want to change a landscape like this one's got, and so I hope in the future, I hope competition like this game, regardless of what you think of it, makes Farming Simulator or any other simulator games work harder, so that way they make a better product for us to enjoy, and that's a win for everybody. Again, check that suspension out, and look at how dirty this piece of equipment is. God, that's cool. That's really neat to see that thing in work. Alright, we'll back up to about here. And we'll dump our cargo. Yeah, oh, there we go. Seems like some of the grapes want to just come right back at us. Young wine complete. Alright, wow. So in just under 15 minutes here, we've completed yet another section of Pure Farming 2018. This is going to be a fantastic game, I must admit. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for playing. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in Colombia and the USA very soon. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, too, to see more of this. It's a pleasure to entertain you, and I thank you all for being here. So thanks, and I will see you soon. Bye.